Hi there. This is a really cute trap. It's called Blowing in the Wind and it's in the Sicilian Wing Gambit and it's taken from the game Nagy against Ballot in Budapest 1947. After E4, Black plays the Sicilian and White responds with B4, the Wing Gambit. Interesting gambit this. If the pawn is taken on B4, then White gets the center immediately with d4 or at a later stage he can defer this move d4 but in any case white has got two pawns in the center for the pawn given up on b4 here in this variation black strikes back at the center with e5 after white takes the pawn on e5 knight c6 threatens to get at least the pawn back on e5 knight f3 defends and knight g e7 is met by bishop f4. Now after knight g6 hitting the bishop and as well as the pawn on e5, the bishop drops back. And this move queen a5, I like this a lot. This queen a5 sortie is a very sneaky move. It seems as if it's just adding more pressure on the pawn on e5, but it can induce white into a very smart mistake as the move queen d5 for white at first sight looks really commanding for white, this move queen d5. However, now black will come out on top in all variations. Well, let's have a look at some of them. After the move b3, check, allowing the queen to be taken. I'll just go back here and just show you that white wanted queen takes queen because after e takes on d5, White's doing really well. So black doesn't take, and we're looking at this move b3 by black. Discover check and giving up the black queen on a5. So after queen takes on a5, then the pawn moves down to b2. It's hitting that rook on a1. So black wants the queen back and wants to take the rook as well. This can be defended by the move queen c3. But now black plays bishop b4, and that's picking up the white queen again on c3, which is pinned. And if queen takes on b4, black can even have the luxury of taking the queen on b4 first before capturing the rook on a1 and promoting a new queen. As we back off here, after the move b3, instead of queen takes on a5, how about knight d2? Well, this is a better variation for white, but again, black will come out on top after queen c3, hitting the rook on a1. Now after rook c1, defending the pawn is well on c2. Bishop a3, develop, developing a piece and hitting the rook on c1. So queen takes on b3 is met by queen takes on b3. After knight takes on b3, Black wins the exchange here, bishop takes on c1, knight takes on c1, and again black is in the driving seat. So this has been a trap called Belowing in the Wing in the Sicilian Wing Gambit. Thanks for watching, bye bye.